So music is a huge part of making a video. Now there's several ways to go about, you can shell out some money, monthly or yearly, so that you can use their services, but also make sure you read the fine print because if you stop paying for their service, then they will own the copyrights to the songs that are in your videos, hence they will get all the money that you make in your videos as well. But there's other ways that you could find copyright free music. You can just go on YouTube and search it. You can find people that create music as long as you just give them credit in your video description. If you look down in the YouTube creator section, there's a bunch of free music uh, in, in YouTube. You can search by genre and mood and instruments and yeah, find the music that you want and then put it on there and not have to worry about it. I feel like that's sometimes the better way to go. And Within the music, don't be afraid to change the song, start start in the middle, start at the end. Just make sure that it's not distracting your overall story, because that's a huge thing that I see. All right, this is getting really weird in here. Let's go somewhere else. So let's get deeper into it, and I'm talking- the Sound effects. Because you can- Oh crap. I just locked myself out of the house. <laughs> Think about what native sounds are in your element and use that make sure you have that ambient sound in the background sometimes i'll like record for one to two minutes just to have that ambient background so that if there's something i'm doing and i need to chop up what i'm saying that can carry on underneath and it doesn't feel like it's chopped up as much and you know you could search youtube for sound effects that's super easy to get if you have an apple computer there's like a whole sound effects folder that you can find when you put up titles or pictures try to use wishes and, and noises that kind of complement that like i'm doing right now so for the next like minute or so, I'm not gonna use any audio from my camera. This is all gonna be sound effects and ambient noises that I find on YouTube. Ready, here we go. Here's a tip that I think some people might disagree with me on. I don't think there should ever be a time in your video where it's completely quiet, where there's no sound at all. The only way I could ever picture you going completely quiet is if you, hold on, what's that? What's that? It's if you're trying to scare somebody. That's when you cut out the audio right before you make the big scare. But uh, yeah. So when you're editing music, try to stretch out certain spots underneath so it's like not just a hard cut. Hard cuts are good if you're trying to get like a comedic response. So it's like I'm about to say something really funny, the music just cuts right there and I say it, ha ha ha, back to the show. What I see people do a lot is they, they cut the music all the time and when you're trying to move into another part of your story, try stretching out the audio, like stretching it out time-wise. There's a tool in Final Cut Pro that I use and then I'll make it go from 100% to zero and you just feel it slowing down naturally and then I'll also put a fade on it as well. So staying into the editing portion of this tip, no matter what, when you make a video, use the range tool and whenever you're talking, just bring whatever background music you have down, just at least five decibels or something because it will make a big difference if you're struggling with ways to, to end the song right, you can always use like a whoosh or something. So like I'll have the music playing and then I just throw this whoosh right there and it feels like it's a natural way. It didn't hard cut out. That's another little tip. Gotta go back in the office for the final tip. Now before I get to the final tip, I wanna say if you're interested in some of the mics that I'm using, I'm gonna put some links below, some affiliate links, which means you can click on them and I will make like maybe a penny or half of a penny and it doesn't cost you any different. So if you wanna see some of those microphones I'm using, check those out. Also, I'm gonna put some videos of how I use those mics down below as well. So let's get to the final tip before I pass out of dizziness. 
All right, so the final tip I would like to give you is voiceovers. Now, I started voiceovers like a year and a half ago on videos, and they've actually been quite a highlight because you can tell your story so much easier. There's so many tips I can give you on just that one thing that I think we should wait until the next time to do that tip video. So I'll be getting that to you soon, so stay tuned, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stuff, and uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, it's getting a little bit weird in here because this is where I normally do my live streams for my live stream channel, but there's nobody in here with the chat, so uh, let's go somewhere else. I hope that was helpful. If it was, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out my live stream channel. We have lots of fun over there. And check out this video, I think you'd like it.